Pedda. Nu ser jag som i bakgrunden där. Hi, it's the new MacBook Pro M1 Good For Music production. My name is Matthias and today we put the Apple Silicon based new MacBook Pros to the test. How does Logic Pro X perform on the M1 chip? What DAWs and plugins work with the new ARM64 architecture? And how does the Apple M1 powered MacBook Pro compare to the Intel based MacBook Pros? Let's take the tour! Okay, let's first take a look at the real-world Logic Pro X 10.6 performance example. So this is the latest Logic Pro version. And we can look at the computer specifications about this Mac. This is the 13-inch MacBook Pro M1 2020 with the Apple M1 chip and 8 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm also only using native plugins in this project. We can see I have uh, some uh, Alchemy instruments loaded. I think it's 10 patches with the Alchemy synth and uh, it's known to be CPU intense. And we also have a bunch of space designers loaded on each of these uh, Alchemy tracks. So also put the CPU to test. And this is a non-scientific test just to see how Logic Pro performs on the Apple M1 chip. So I'm not going to overdo the plugins here, just use a bunch of plugins to see how a normal music production session would perform. And we have a bunch of Chroma Reverbs 2 here and yeah, we can see these Alchemy tracks stacked up on top of each other. So it's basically the same melody line being played here. And we can already see it's a very snappy interface in Logic Pro if we zoom in and zoom out like this. Right, and we can also go into the Logic Preferences, the audio settings here. We have set the processing threads to automatic. So it's uh, automatically setting this to, a four, to use the four cores. But if we want we could set this to to eight cores, which is uh, four definitive cores and four high performance cores. But let's just have this in automatic mode for the test. And we will also have the same project running on a MacBook Pro 15 inch uh, i7 2.7 gigahertz from 2016. It has uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and an extra Radeon 455 graphics card. Bear in mind that I'm using the OBS uh, video recording software on the same computer here. And that's also where we're a CPU intense software. So we're basically using tons of CPU intense stuff on the same computer here. But let's just press play here and see how it performs.
So the conclusion here is that we have a quite low CPU hit. It's uh, not getting very hot compared to the MacBook Pro from 2016. It gets uh, much uh, warmer during the playback. And we also have a smooth playback without any hiccups or glitches in, in the audio. With the CPU running around 30%. So that's a very good uh, performance for this, for this typical track. I usually don't add that many of the Alchemy instrument because I think it's a quite intensive uh, CPU intensive plugin, but in this case we're just testing it out and doing this little stress test. Let's talk a little bit about the Apple M1 architecture. While the older Intel based MacBooks uh, work with x86 instructions, the new Macs with the M1 CPU work with ARM64 instructions. Logic Pro is ready, but uh, what about other software? What DOS and plugins will work on the new MacBook Pro? OS X11 Big Sur comes with a Rosetta application. Rosetta will translate uh, any x86 applications into ARM64 instructions. So yes, we can still launch older plugins and DOS. But they will launch in a translated state, which is not as fast as native ARM64 apps. Now, if you want to see what kind of architecture an application is running, if it's uh, x86 or uh, native ARM64, you can go to the activity monitor in OS X. And here we can look at the architecture tab. We can see that we have OBS running and it's running as an Intel application. That means it's uh, x86 uh, instructions translated via the Rosetta app to uh, ARM64. And Logic Pro is running as an Apple architecture. That means it's ARM64, native ARM64. Let's go into Logic here and uh, yeah, let's try load up uh, an AU instrument, which is uh, x86 uh, application. We can load up either D Diva or Zebra 2. And if we look in the activity monitor, we can see that we now have a service running called AU Hosting Compatibility Service for Logic Pro. And it is running as an Intel x86 application. That means that uh, this uh, Diva plugin in uh, Logic Pro is running via the Rosetta translation. So it will not uh, run in, in full performance. So hopefully soon we can see these uh, UHE plugins like Diva and Zebra 2 translated to uh, native ARM64 code. But until then, of course, we can run these uh, translated plugins via the Rosetta 2 application. If I try to open up the Diva 2 app, you see that little loading sign there, the little loading animation. And it, it takes a little while for Rosetta to translate the, the application to uh, ARM64. But the next time we open the app, it will go more swiftly. And we can also, if we want, load uh, Logic Pro in uh, Rosetta compatible mode, in Intel mode. If we go into applications and look up Logic Pro here, right click and choose get info. You can see we, can, we have this option to use open using Rosetta. And that means that we will load Logic Pro in uh, x86. So in Intel mode x86 you can probably load up more plugins, but they will not be as, uh, as boosted as with the native ARM64 mode, the Apple mode. What about Apple M1 compatible DOS? Logic Pro works and the only other DAW I found that's uh, compatible with Apple Silicon M1 is uh, Reaper. Reaper has a beta version uh, which is compiled for ARM64. I gave it a quick test run and it worked out fine. I also compiled a compatibility list for you on the major DOS and plugins, which you can check out on my website, morningdewmedia.com. Luckily, it seems that most developers are working hard to make their software compatible. There's a link in the video description if you want more in-depth information on the Apple M1 technology. Right, so let's summarize. Is the new Apple MacBook Pro with the M1 CPU ready for professional music production? 
Yes, if you're working solely with the Logic Pro and native Logic Pro plugins. And no, if you're working with other DAWs. Hopefully we will see a lot more Apple M1 compatible software during 2021. What do you think about the new MacBook Pros and the Apple M1 technology? Personally, I'm very excited because I never expected to run OBS, Logic Pro and web services on a laptop this size without any hiccups or glitches. Right, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like and that notification bell so that you get the notice as soon as I release new videos. Now you can continue and watch my next video on the Alchemy plugin. My name is Matthijs and see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Bye!